All right, next up, we've got uh, Adam, who uh, his comment is just general feedback. So let's let's go ahead and look at it. So already this portfolio is pretty full of stuff, and the fact that you're part of uh, some of the Decagon stuff is pretty cool. That always looks really good. I would actually suggest, um, well, I don't know, your, your work is all pretty, pretty solid. So I was gonna say move the Decagon stuff up ahead, but like this stuff, this recent stuff looks really nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Dude, that's intense. It's very cool. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh dude, see this is this is cool to the point where like like algorithm should grab us from you so that they have another asset that people can practice on, you know, like that just comes with Substance Painter. Much more interesting than just the, the sphere. Nice, that's one hell of an opium pipe. <laughs> Wait, what? It's an opium pipe that's also a concealed dagger? <laughs> that's amazing. Oh man, that's not terrifying at all. Drugged up people with daggers. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. The way you've approached uh, the materials is is pretty nice too. It looks like uh, you use ZBrush a lot for some of the detail work. Man, material definition on it's pretty cool. I think the roughness on the this wood material could be. Uh, I like that there's a there's some roughness directional stuff to it. It would be nice to see some of the the grain pattern uh, either in the roughness or really soft in the in the normal. It's probably better in the roughness just because then it, it maintains that that kind of polished look. Um, general though, it's pretty pretty solid. This motel uh, rendered in UE4. So this one seems like uh, it seems like it's it's got its first pass, and you need to be focusing on things to like break up like these these hard edges here. You got to watch out for those. Those are those are like one of the main things that leads a person to be like, oh, that's three D, right? So being careful of that, making sure that the dirtiness is not too crazy, or or too stretched. It can be pretty easy for like if you're using a decal to stretch the decal too far and the dirtiness kind of breaks down. These are some, I like this angle. This one, this angle actually makes me think that it would be cool if like the, if the, the bottom of the bed was up a little higher and then you just put something under there like a person. Like it's just telling stories is always a good thing. Like if you look up here, there's nothing on the table. The, the most story that's happening in this room is this, this bed sheet kind of like disheveled a bit. Uh, if you had like some papers here and maybe like there's like the crime, a crime that's being planned out or like some some investigator that's been cooped up in his in his hotel room for like months trying to solve a case. The little piece of gum stuck to the underside of the table, stuff like that. It's important. That type of stuff's important. Some stuff in the air, maybe. Like these lights look pretty nice. I think if there was a bit of a like an, a, a glow to it or like um, a volumetric fog that's set really low, so it just feels like the air is a bit thick. Then you could put like a, um, like a tray for someone smoking and stuff, you know? Just lots of storytelling. Where do the coats go? Where's, uh, where's the sign that shows like, what do you do in case of a fire? Uh, grounding this, even though it's on a ceiling, sealing in this <laughs> uh, by like how how this is connected to the ceiling, either like by like a grungy kind of dirty decal that shows that it is interacting with the, the ceiling is good. Um, for stuff like this, you can do things like molding, like crown molding, 
which is just that like kind of detail work that kind of follows the edge of a wall meeting the ceiling. Um, yeah. Nice. Dude, that bathroom, that is terrifying. <laughs> not the, not the artwork of it, but just like, I would walk in there and be like, oh, okay. Okay. We're going to a different hotel. I might get murdered in this bathroom. So thinking about like water damage on the ceiling, maybe like be interesting if you see the rail for a curtain, like if you're worried about making a curtain because of the technical side of it, I, which I have no idea. I think you'd be fine because it looks like you've been doing some of the the bed stuff and yeah. And uh, like you have got, you've got cloth and Maya that does a pretty good job, but you could do like the curtain rod with the rings, but there's no curtain. And then thinking about like where the tile ends and where other material, like if there's a rug down here, also looking at the smoothing and geometry, uh, amount of geometry being used to, to smooth stuff out. And there might be light maps that are doing the stepping here. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Man, this is already kind of creepy. So it's interesting that there's one car and the the uh, the road markings. There's like an extra one here, I guess. It's a little odd to me. Thinking about like where a trash can would be. Uh, where's the room number sit? Is it here or is it here? That doorway looks really narrow as well. Dude, going up to windows like that, it creeps me out. Nice props. Some storytelling going on a little bit here. Oh man, I'm getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> like I feel like someone's gonna jump out at me. Um, oh, this is cool. Man, that zoom in feels really like, is something gonna happen, you know? But yeah, like looking at like how narrow things are, how tall things are, proportions, double checking your proportions, breaking up the, the ground a bit. Like you can put a little bit of trash here. There's some stuff maybe that builds up against the building down at the edge where it meets the sidewalk. The curb seems really reflective. So it looks more like plastic or like a, like a metal even. In general, it's it's looking pretty. Oh, I like the uh, the addition of the trees in the distance. That's really good. Um, yeah. I think. Let's see here. Let's see what else we got going on here. This this motel scene is pretty strong. I think that. Uh, huh. Nice, that's cool. I feel like the darks in this shot are too dark. I know that it's nighttime, but like even, especially with big lights like this, the ambient light is gonna get filled pretty heavily. Oh, what is, no, why? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Taking this, piece here and maybe even bending it or kind of skewing it just slightly will break that illusion that it's a uh, geometry right like see how it bends here of course it bends in real life on the, on that end there right but that's that's the type of stuff that implies more detail than um than what you think you're seeing like these little bolts here made me notice that i'm not seeing them here and i don't know why i'm not seeing them there These shapes are really straight and I, they probably are in real life. Um, some stuff in real life does not uh, translate to 3D very well. Just, just to keep in mind, oh, this is cool. The way you were blocking all this stuff out is really good. Like can you see the, the progression? 
Oh, nice. I tried raising that. Oh, that's cool. You're trying a bunch of different things. Yeah, getting those big spheres in the distance in uh, earlier probably would have helped with your figuring out what you're focusing on. The overall, I think the overall look is, is pretty strong. It's a bit like there's some grain on that. I'm wondering if that's, is that post film grain? Because I think, I think I see it here, but maybe not. Overall, this one's pretty cool. I think some more material definition and um, some understanding of PBR would help like push push these surfaces a little bit further. Like these these edges feel really sharp still. Oh, the other thing you could do is uh, taking these renders um, and rendering them at like 4K or taking a screenshot at 4K and then bringing down to uh, 1080 is gonna help with things like these jaggedy edges. But uh, in general, pretty solid, pretty solid scene. These are cool. So you made some of the assets in here. Asset management in engine, helping keeping consistent style. So a little bit of uh, art directing as well, it sounds like. Oh, that's interesting. So the lighting here is really intriguing. And then in this angle, I guess, cause it's daytime, it, it kind of loses that. Like I would actually suggest having this shot in this kind of nighttime scenario as well. It's propped nicely though. Layout looks good. Details are, are interesting. Again, more storytelling would be nice. And like, this feels like there needs to be more happening around it. That is really creepy, by the way. <laughs> kind of freaks me out, man. I think if you should do anything, it'd be maybe to like, oh, that's nice. Maybe to like, maybe it's time to remove some stuff. I don't know. This This one looks interesting. See the Silicon Valley behind the scenes uh, VR hacker uh, hostel. I would actually. Let me see what's. Oh, nice. Double check that. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm in a different country. Um, some work I did for, at rewind.co a while ago for HBO Silicon Valley. So I would use that to sell this like rewind presents in the Silicon Valley. Cause see, you see it here, the HBO Silicon Valley, but I think just having the, the logo of the show on there and then rewind down, down in the corner or something would, would help uh, get more clicks on that maybe, or bring a little bit more context into the importance of that. Cause that's, that's kind of a big deal, I think. Uh, in general, your stuff looks pretty good though. I think um, it's coming down to like material material definition and like this one is probably your weakest in the whole portfolio. And I'm not sure why because everything else looks pretty good. I guess maybe this was a really big uh, piece for you. Um, but yeah, I would pay attention to scale look at what makes things look like geometry and try and resolve those, AKA like really straight edges um, or lack of, of detail, like in the room, for example, that I was talking about. And then storytelling. I think those are the things I would, I would really focus on because there's, there's some storytelling going on in here, but I don't know if like, I don't know if you uh, propped any of this or did any of the lighting, but the mood here is, is really strong by comparison to this one. Like even in this one, it should be quite dark up here because I mean, the only light coming in is from the that window and it looks pretty minimal. Let me see here. Ah, uh, that's pretty that's pretty bright. See this detail back here is pretty nice. There's some like grunginess going on. That stepping looks like light maps again. It's hard to get away from unless you're doing a pretty high res light map ache. Anywho, cool. Solid portfolio. I think uh 
reordering some of this and either working on this further or replacing it with some other I, I think right now this one's actually bringing the entire portfolio down in quality just because it brings in some questions as to oh wait I mean these are all so good how come this one isn't as good as that you know what I mean anyways hopefully that was helpful and thanks for submitting your portfolio